Hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay video this time with a face cam <laughs> Yeah, I made a video a while back asking if people wanted to see me do a face cam in my videos and the results were rather mixed I didn't respond to comments at the time because I didn't want to influence anyone's opinion But eventually I completely forgot about the video and I'm sorry <laughs> So here is a test video on a face cam just for kicks to see if uh, people really do like this or not. And I'm going to play Yoshi's Island on the Game Boy Advance here. Starting with a brand new save save file here. and Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know I skipped the intro. But basically, uh, Chemex stole a baby from a stork that was carrying two baby brothers. One fell to the ground and this is the baby right here. Welcome to Yoshi's Island, a paradise where all the Yoshis live. They're all in an uproar over a baby that fell from the sky. Who is this baby, though? We'll never find out, will we? Wait, it seems as though the baby knows where he wants to go. The bond between the brothers tells each of them where the other one is. The Yoshis decide to carry him to his destination via a relay system. And so begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and Baby Mario. This game's graphics, by the way, with its crayon drawn style. Like, I'm not a, a person that, you know, thinks graphics make a game or anything like that, but, you know, good graphics are like a bonus to already good gameplay. If Baby Mario falls off Yoshi's back, the countdown timer will begin. When it reaches zero, Chemex Toadies will swoop in and kidnap Baby Mario. The more stars you collect, the safer you'll be. Once Baby Mario is safe, the timer will count back up to ten. Complete a stage by passing Baby Mario to the next helpful Yoshi. Simple. So you can jump, you can move, with, you know, jump with the A button, move with the D-pad. Pretty simple. You can jump on these shy guys to kill them off or completely miss a shy guy. You can jump at blocks or completely miss a block <laughs> and to make it expand while well, those, only those, these kinds of blocks expand like that. Now you can hit blocks like this and they'll talk to you. Flutter jump. By holding A down, you can hover in the air for a short time. Make the extra effort. If you fall down, don't worry, you can get yourself back up using another one of these blocks. But yeah, just hold the A button for your jump and hold right and you'll make the jump with ease. These springy arrows, I have no idea what they're called. When they're at their most compressed state when you jump on them, press the A button to jump off them and get maximum height off them. Okay? Okay. That was an intro stage. Now we go to world one. One dash one, make eggs, throw eggs. I kind of spoiled the name there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is one of my favorite games of all time, so I have it very, very well memorized. Making eggs with a handy chalkboard drawing. Grab an enemy with B, then press down on the D-pad to make an egg. Now try throwing the egg. Press R. So, grab it with the B button by using your sticky tongue here. And then once it's in your mouth, press down, you'll poop out an egg. Pretty simple. And then you can press the R button to make a cursor appear, throw it at stuff. Special flower, gather five for a one-up, they add to your point total. Yeah, even throwing uh, eggs at flowers collects them. <laughs> um, pausing the game here takes you to the collection screen. Uh, there are 20 red coins worth one point apiece. To 30 stars you can get maximum for one point apiece. And flowers each have 10 points apiece for fly five flowers. And you'll be able to get a maximum of 100 points per stage. And that's how you 100% this game, basically. Anyway, we got a piranha plan here, which you can pretty much only safely kill using an egg. Throwing eggs, press R once and the aiming cursor will begin to move. Press R again when throwing the egg. When you find the question mark, hit it with an egg. Cool stuff will happen. Cancel the throw, press down on the D-pad. You can also change your control scheme to hasty so that you release the R button when you want to throw an egg. But I prefer um, this control scheme overall, so yeah, it's called patient. I know uh, most people do prefer hasty over patient, but I'm a, I'm a patient guy, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> and you see that? Those are red coins that I'm collecting in the middle of these. Yeah, they're hidden within uh, regular yellow coins. Oh no, I want to collect those stars. I want to collect the stars. There we go. <laughs> because stars run away from you and they pop out of stuff and it's kind of a hassle actually. Okay, there wasn't anything else up here. I just wanted to make sure. I'm going to be careful going through this stage just to make sure that I can... 100% uh, this on my first try. It's not all that difficult to 100% the stage. Don't worry, I'll be able to get that flower on my way back. Um, a chomp rock is a useful thing. Push it to make a 
Push it to make it roll. Bowling over your enemies. If it gets stuck, stand on one edge to make it roll again. No problem. So, I could eat Shy Guys right out of the air. Actually, they're called Fly Guys. Uh, these balloons, it looks like they're only carrying one coin. But they don't! They're actually carrying multiple coins and they're overlapping each other. But anyway, yeah, you gotta move this Chomp Rock. This is the game's introduction to Chomp Rocks, should you decide to uh, explore the game's area. Because, uh, yeah, otherwise this is sort of kind of secret, because, you know, you gotta go down a pipe by pressing down, and yeah, some people just skip over these sorts of things, which is a total shame. <laughs> um, these flowers right here, if you bounce an egg into it, oops, like that, they'll start spinning out stars! I do believe they spit out, like, eight stars or something like that. Oh, wait, seven stars, okay. Something like that, I think, I think, I think, yeah. <laughs> Just doing some quick math in my head, and it's kind of harder to do when you are concentrating on a gameplay as well. <laughs> Plus commentary as well, don't forget about the commentary. Anyway, that is the end of this little underground area, and then we can go back and collect some more stuff. Look at that, look at that, it poops us out right on the other side where that flower is. Isn't that handy dandy? Yeah, that's why I went in that pipe first. You can't really... I mean, it's kind of hard to miss stuff in the first stage, in all honesty. <laughs> Just as long as you're looking around the area, everything is in plain sight overall. Uh, you know, I mean, there, I think there is something hidden, but it's only like a one-up or something like that, so it's not really um, all that exciting, I guess. Uh, maybe it is to a new player, but this game gives out lives like candy. Um, anyway, anytime that you see a pipe that keeps plopping out Shy Guys like that, um, yeah, you'll, it'll eventually run out of Shy Guys when you fill up on eggs completely. You can ha you have a maximum of six eggs, and uh, you can even get Shy Guys inside the pipe, which is slightly quicker because two pop out at a time uh, when you don't have, you know, I mean, when you have less than uh, four or less eggs, excuse me. Uh, see that? Yeah, it's a little bit faster that way sometimes, kind of, depending on how many eggs you have. So, so yeah, some pipes you can do that, some pipes you can't. Uh, anyway, that that's a crazy daisy, by the way. They, they, they debuted it in this game, and uh, no one really knows why they're so keen on attacking you. Maybe because they are indeed crazy, but they hurt you if they touch you, so don't touch them. <laughs> um, over here is a flower, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Over here is some coins, and over here is a hidden thingamabob, which you might not be able to see on the camera because of the way it flashes. And the game, I mean, and the recording frames per minute and whatnot. But yeah, there was one of those question mark flying things. I don't even know what they're called offhand. I probably should look that up. Wait, did I just get the last couple of red coins? Yes, I did. The level is 100%ed. Unless I take a hit. You see, there's the issue of those stars. If you take a hit, you'll uh, get your your stars will gradually reduce by the second. And uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna take any hits. I'm just gonna carefully go past these enemies and go to the gold ring. Yeah. <laughs> and if I get a flower, oh, I got a flower. You get a bonus challenge. There are multiple kinds of bonus challenges in this game. Six of them, I think. And I'm gonna be playing one right here. You can play them. Uh, either by unlocking them or by getting a flower at the end of the gold ring like, like I just did. Depending on how many flowers you get will determine how many flowers are on the gold ring. So the more flowers you get, the better your chance of getting one of these bonuses. Okay? Okay. So anyway, we gotta have, I mean, we have sort of a risky game here. If we get Kamek, we lose all the items we have collected. And I'm not, I'm not really interested in super watermelons. I'm more interested in stars and magnifying glasses. I'm just probably going to skip everything and not really care about Kamek. Uh, ooh, that's kind of something that I want, but I probably won't need it. So I'm, more, I'm more, really more interested in stars than magnifying glasses. Oh, I lost everything. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Not really that big of a deal. Uh, the DS for, not via DS version, the DS Yoshi's Island game. Um, completely got rid of these items. I'm guessing they did that to sort of balance out the stages more because um, getting plus 10 or plus 20 stars in those mini games kind of breaks the idea of getting through these stages carefully because you can just always use an item or two at the end of a stage and get those stars right back. So by getting rid of them, they solve that problem. Anyway, you see that that warning sign there? See that warning sign? Oh, oh wait. 
I probably have to reset this because I kind of got it to spawn from the background and yeah see that look at that oh geez, here it comes <laughs> love the chomps in this game they are so expressive and silly and full of surprises and they give you plenty of time to react to them too via those shadows so they are totally fair as well Look out, look out, look out, oh no, they're coming. What's inside that? It's a flower, okay. Don't be underneath them. They won't squish you, but they'll probably push you into the abyss with relative ease, so yeah. <laughs> um, these posts, you can ground pound them by pressing down on the D-pad while jumping on them. They sometimes hide stuff like red coins or um, those question mark cloud bubble things. Uh, sometimes, not all the time though. This is the middle ring for this level, you can continue here. So if you ever should die, um, you will start off of there, or actually not- OH SHOOT! It's gonna give me a tutorial? No, it's not going to, okay, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I thought it was gonna give me a tutorial once I lost baby Mario there, and wow, that was delightful. Uh, for some reason, uh, eggs can only bounce off of walls three times, probably for a limit, but anyway, for some reason, when they go through this odd dirt, it actually resets that counter for some reason. I don't know why it does that, but it does, and it allows the egg to bounce more than it could otherwise. Anyway, this is sort of the introduction to you having to get the hang of egg controls, but since I already got the hang of uh, throwing eggs, I was able to shoot through that with ease. Alright, so now it says go through the arrows. Look at that, there's a pathway, but actually, if you look closely, there's a pathway this way, too. Oh, yes! What is over here, you might ask? Well, it's actually just a way back around. <laughs> it's just something to keep in mind for later. Okay? Okay. And actually, I'm gonna go through that first to see... I don't want to hit that just yet. You might want to save middle rings of levels until after you get some stuff in the level because um, they, they act as sort of checkpoints for everything, including your inventory screen right here. So the stuff that you collected will also be saved on the checkpoints and thus uh, makes it a whole lot safer overall to 100% a stage because you're able to continue from there uh, whenever you desire. Um, hold on, I think I think there's something safe if you drop down there, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I thought so. As I said, I know this game pretty well. <laughs> uh, I just want to take a look, see down here before I actually start exploring this. Um, this other layer here, like, see, there's that right there. That, that contains a one-up. Again, not all that exciting, because this game gives you one-ups like crazy. So, uh, it's very, very doubtful that you'll see the game over screen, unless you really start to uh, um, lose a lot of lives in the harder levels, and the harder levels are usually only the secret levels of the game. So, yeah, anyway, now that I got that covered, I am now going to hit this. And go around this way just to show you where it leads off to. Yep, back to the start of this area. <laughs> it's sort of like a kind of workflow thing, I guess you could say, of clearing out something and then going around uh, back here, I, I guess you could say. Uh, like if you miss something, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just there to confuse you or something like that. Did I hit this? Press select the display or score to use special items. Use left and right on the D-pad to choose an item, press A to exit, and press B. Those special items are the things that I failed to get. See those four slots next to the 30 stars at the bottom screen bar? Yeah, that's where the special items would appear in, but since I kind of flubbed that, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't really like helicopters, though. You can morph into a helicopter by touching the helicopter bubble. Touch the Yoshi block in time and Baby Mario will be warped to Yoshi. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you why I don't like the helicopter bubbles here. Um. First off, you have a limited time using them. Second, they control very, very wonky. <laughs> like, you, you can accelerate really fast, but, but you can't stop very easily. And you have to explore these places thoroughly in order to get all the stuff. <laughs> so that means you have to go, whoops, you have, um, uh, you're pretty much invincible aside from being knocked out of the sky like that. But anyway, besides um, taking hits, ah, uh, but yeah, every time that happens, you have to restart the segment, and you, there's no way you can collect everything in one run. It's just, it just feels really tedious. 
But anyway, what I like to do is start out by collecting the stuff like at the top layers first. And then going down to the bottom layer. Whoops, I forgot that was a dead end. That's fine though. I should still have enough time to get the stuff over in this secret area. There's a couple of red coins. Uh, I also want to go up to that other... Pooper, poopers, poopers, poopers. Hitting that Yoshi block will end. Uh, I'm not gonna have enough time to get those coins in this helicopter run. Now, I don't think I need a helicopter to get those coins anyway. So, okay, I got the top route covered. Now I'm gonna go through the middle route. <laughs> then I'm gonna take the lower route. It's kinda, kinda hard to keep track of in your mind as well because there's so much open abyss as well. So it's, yeah, it's one of those sorts of things where you gotta sort of. Um, carefully go over everything to make sure that you don't miss any gold coins which may or may not contain red coins I think all the red coins are in the top routes but you know if I want to show everything I can't really can't really just skip over the middle and lower routes can I <laughs> all right I think this will be the last run and this time I'm gonna go all the way down well actually maybe I don't have to but I think this is below uh, yeah this is a spot where um, I explored with Yoshi down on the ground, so maybe I don't have to do that at all. Okay, so maybe this first helicopter segment isn't all that bad to explore, but other ones are far worse. I assure you. <laughs> um, isn't this something just to tell you that there are some coins that you can find up there? Yeah, there's a secret thing, but I already got that when I went through that thinner, when I went through that thin opening um, as a helicopter from the top. Okay, I think the area is complete. Hopefully, whoops, what did I do that for? <laughs> I'm used to playing Yoshi's Island. Whoops, ah, shoot! Mm -hmm. Yoshi, used to playing Yoshi's Island DS where I hit um, the uh, X button to hit stuff. Yeah, I had to look at the controls because it's, oh shoot, I did it again. Because it's so instinctive, I guess you could say, that I don't really think about what button that I'm hitting. <laughs> it's kind of kind of silly that I kind of have to look at the controller sometimes to remember what button I'm hitting, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, hold on, did I get everything? I did, isn't that nice? But yeah, there we go, go! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! I think the reason why I don't really think much of the buttons is because I do them more by feel than I do thinking about uh, the lettering of the buttons. <laughs> That's just the way I do things. Anyway, there's another stage 100%ed, and I think that is all I'm going to do for this random gameplay. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. I love this music very much. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, I'm gonna end this now. <laughs>